This is the Amaram 150C, the sort of light where you would or could spend hundreds on cheaper alternatives just because you don't want to invest in something a little more expensive until that one day where you're like, okay, I'll get it. And then you get this and it's perfect. Have you ever wondered why some videos look so much more better than others, even though you might be using the same camera, the same lens, and the same settings? The answer is lighting. One of the most important aspects of video or photo production, along with the audio and the quality, but sometimes lighting is overlooked. Lighting can make or break your video or photo as it affects the mood, the tone, the color, and the quality of your image or video. But lighting can also help you tell a story, create an atmosphere, and express your style. And that's where the Amaran 150C comes in, a light that's perfect for content creators and could potentially improve your production by conveying all those different moods. This is a full RGB 150 watt LED light. It's got a Bowens mount and offers a 360 degree HSI color control, a wide CCT range from a warm 2500K all the way up to a cool 7500K. And with this Sidus Link app installed on your phone, you can control both of these modes and get access to nine built-in light effects. When you do get it, this is what the 150C arrives in, a padded case with a carrying handle for that extra convenience and safety. This lightweight and durable case is easy to carry and store your light with its accessories, the ones that you actually get inside. So what else comes in the box? There's the 150C, which we'll have a look at in a moment. You also get a Bowens mount hyper reflector, an AC power supply with power cable, and a warranty card with instructions about installing the Sidus Link app. You'll notice that while the presentation of the 150C and the items that come with it fit perfectly in this case, if you do have other accessories or modifiers to fit on the light, then there's not gonna be enough space for those items and you'll probably have to carry them separately. So let's take a closer look at the 150C. If you're like me and you've only used smaller lights in the past, then having something like this is gonna be a big upgrade for you. And it's definitely now the biggest and most powerful light I have, weighing in at just over two and a half kilos and having a maximum power output of 150 watts, hence its name, the 150C. If you find yourself wanting more power than 150 watts, then Amaran also do the 300C, which is exactly the same as the 150C, except the maximum power output is 300 watts. This has a sleek, compact, and uncomplicated design. It comes in three colors, this one in charcoal, and also in white and gray. On the top and the bottom of the light, there are some aesthetically pleasing cooling vents for that active cooling system, which for my usage in here and for my product shots at the lower power outputs, very rarely comes on. And in the brief occasions that it does, the fan is very quiet. It comes on, cools it down, and then turns itself off. One of the features I like the most on the 150C is that it's got two handles at the back, which is designed to allow you to adjust and position the 150C much easily, particularly if you've got heavy modifiers or accessories attached. And because there's two handles, those adjustments aren't biased to whether you're left or right-handed or which side of the light you're coming from. And if we turn it to the front, it has a Bowens mount on it, so you can easily attach a whole load of Bowens mount compatible modifiers, like this Light Dome Mini SE softbox here, to help shape and control the light. Out of the box to protect the mount from the light source, you do get this protected cover that can be released from the mount by sliding the release latch here, which locks in place any modifier attached to a 150C. While most of the external surfaces of this light are made out of plastic, only the cob chipset here, which can sometimes get a little bit warm after prolonged use, and this whole mountain frame here are made out of metal. When it is mounted, it has a nice big locking handle that makes making those minor adjustments really simple and quick, and it's actually independent from the stand itself. And if you use an umbrella in your shoots as a diffuser or a bounce, and there is a built-in umbrella holder the power goes in here and the power switch is next to it for easy access. But you can make this whole setup portable with the two bay battery power station also from Amaran. If you've used smaller LED lights like these before, then you'll be familiar with the UI display on the LCD screen on the 150, which is almost exactly the same. And with those big control and pressable dials, you'll be able to adjust settings quickly and accurately, as well as using those buttons to switch between the color modes. In the CCT mode, you'll be able to adjust the color temperature from 2500K to 7500K. What takes this light into that more professional realm is having the ability to fine tune the green and magenta 
center tint. Not many lights allow you to control this tint, but the benefit of being able to control it on a studio light like this means that you can further fine tune the color balance of your shots, particularly when you're using different types of light sources or filters. If you use certain LED lights that may have a slight green or magenta cast that can affect the skin tones or the overall mood of your image, by adjusting that tint you can correct that colour shift and achieve a more natural or desired look, which is why this is aimed at professionals too. In the HSI mode you can adjust the hue, saturation and intensity of any colour you want and it has a 360 degree of hue and 100% of saturation. This can produce over 16 million colours giving you endless creative possibilities and helping you get that exact colour that you want. This has a maximum brightness of just over 11,000 lumens at 5600k with a 1% incremental dimming from 0 to 100% on this using the dials itself and a 0.1% incremental dimming via the Sidus Link app. It gives a nice smooth and even light output whether you've got the hyper reflector on or a softbox attached. I mentioned before that there are three modes on the 150C, two of which can be controlled on the light itself via the controls here and the third one, the light effects, along with the first two modes can be finally controlled via the Sidus Link app which gives you that wireless control of this light from a phone or tablet and also access to a more advanced and fine tuning settings of the 150C. In the light effects mode you can choose from nine effects such as fire, cup car, party, TV, faulty bulb, lightning, fireworks, paparazzi and pulsing. And these effects can add realism and drama to your scenes and they can further be customized to your taste. And you can also adjust the speed and intensity of each of those effects. The Sidus Link app is a professional tool and using it with the 150C is going to open this up to even more possibilities of what you can do with it and that's only going to enhance your creativity. Need to mount the light or multiple lights up high out of reach of the controls of the back? No worry. Connect the app, control all of the lights from anywhere. I could just be sitting in this position now and I don't want to get up and change that intensity or I might want my background to be a little bit more bluer. All I need to do is just use the Sidus Link app. And if you're looking for a particular color to light up your space, then you use the color picker, choose the item that you want to match the color to, press pick up, and the 150C will display that color. And you can also use the app to create custom effects, save presets, sync the light up to music, which I ended up having a mini disco in here when I was testing out that feature. Having a versatile light like this is gonna help you in a multitude of different scenarios. You can use this as a key light, which is your main light source that illuminates your subject, which in this case is me. You can adjust the settings to match your mood and the tone of your video. You can use it as a fill light, which is a secondary light source that fills in the shadows and balances the contrast of your subject. So in this case, you can adjust the intensity and the color to create a flattering and natural look to your subject. You can use it as a rim light, which is a backlight that creates a halo or silhouette around your subject. So you can adjust the angle and color to create that separation and depth for your subject. You can also use it as a background light, which is when your light illuminates the background of your scene, which is what I've been doing in the last few of my videos with my blue background on this wall behind me. You can adjust the color and the effect of the 150C to create a mood and add an atmosphere to your scene. The Amaran 150C, a great studio light that most creators, whether you're a solo creator just beginning your journey, or if you're a seasoned filmmaker working on a crowded set, whether you fit in either of these two stages or somewhere in between, you'll definitely benefit from using this light in your space and for your projects. And it's available at a very good price of only $359 for, and that's what you get for a full color, 150 watt LED light. This is gonna have a wider CCT range, a higher brightness, a higher color accuracy, and more effects than many other lights at this price range offer. Remember at the beginning of this video I said, this is the light that you want to get, but you decide not to, until that point where you do, and then you realize that you should have just started off with this light. My other light is almost three times less powerful than this one at 60 watts, and only has a CCT mode, so it doesn't even have an RGB mode. I feel like this, although more expensive, is still better value for money than 
the other light. For me and my workflow, that's how I see the Amaram 150C, a light filled with tech that you would usually find in high-end film production equipment that is perfect for content creators and filmmakers. And it's gonna be available to you to use at a more affordable price. It's powerful, probably more powerful than you'll ever need. It's versatile and it can help you create those amazing videos or because you cracked one of the most important aspects of production, the lighting. You could pay more for other lights on the market and not get some of the features that you get on this light. And even though the intensity is only 150 watts, that's more than enough for me. I don't think I've used the intensity higher than about 40% because of how bright and powerful this is already at those lower intensities. And with the ability to add further accessories to this, like the Spotlight SE and with the Light Dome Mini SE, you can be so much more creative with the 150C. If you've got this, let me know in the comments below, how creative are you with the 150C? Many thanks to Amaran for providing this for me to test and review, it's greatly appreciated. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.